For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Comparison between the Nagio score and the Nagio XA. So Nagio score is a completely open source and the free. There is no license required you to uh, install and configure the Nagio score or um, core monitoring tool. But whereas Nagio XI, you need to buy the license and uh, support license as well. So if you do not need support license, you can just buy the um, normal license for the adding the host and services. Then you can uh, install and configure and monitor the server and services. Little hard to configure for the Nachos core because for the beginners you have to understand what configuration files you have to modify and what are the uh, definitions you have to add in order to uh, bring the server monitoring in place. So that's little hard to understand for the first time. But as you go in this course completely, if you see from the end to end this course, you can completely understand and you can implement your uh, Nagios core infrastructure, the monitoring tool completely in your environment. So this is completely a practical course. Okay, so let's watch from end to end so that you can understand completely. So but in terms of Nachos XI, is it easy to configure and simple web interface? Like example, you just uh, go to the web interface and add the whole services from there itself. You don't need to jump into the CLI and configure or change the configuration files. So that's the easy for the uh, beginners and the Nachos XI. So UI interface, little hard to walk through and the Nachos core, but because it is not a fancy uh, interface, but it does give you the all the details what required from the uh, interface level and not just XA has a nice web interface easy for beginners as well so you can just simply see that a beautiful uh, not just XA web interface not just score no integrated graphs so there's no by default you did not see any graphs integrated by default with the Nagios score you have to install some third party tools and integrate with this Nagios score so that is also covered in this course okay you can we can we are going to install the pnv4 Nagios and integrate that uh, with the Nagios score and we can see the graphs how it is performing and the Nagios XA has inbuilt graphs so you don't need to install any additional services um, not just core it uses dot add database so which is a round robin database uh, which is used for the storing the data and projecting it as a graphical um, graphs based on the times and the utilization perspective and not just excited uses the mysql and process sql basically mysql stores the stat uh, status data and the Postgres SQL stores the authentication users data um, on the Nagios XI. No capability to create the user own dashboard. So in Nagios score, you cannot create user based dashboards because it does not have any capability to create uh, dashboards. But we can install the additional components, which is the uh, NagVis, which is an, a uh, vis visualization. Um, software so that is also we are going to cover that and we can create a beautiful dashboard with using the Nagios core and Nagios XI dashboards is most valuable feature so Nagios XI is a licensed version and it's cost that's why they provide the beautiful dashboards and user level also each user they can create their own dashboards Nagios core not capable to send SMS. So by default, Nagios core does not have the capability to send the SMS, but we can integrate a third party components with the Nagios core so that it will send the SMS to the users as a, as a alert. Uh, Nagios XI, if you can integrate with the SMS gateways, yes, you can do that. Um, not just core, no professional support. So in case something goes wrong, so you have to go through the communities, not just community and ask the questions. And if it's, there is already a similar question, you can just uh, browse through and resolve yourself. So there is no support for the not just core. Uh, not just XI, they provide the professional support uh, because they charge uh, for the support. So that's why they provide the professional, professional support. Not just core, implementation required little expertization so as you learn in this course so not just core 
uh, implementation so completely practical you can do that uh, if you watch this course until the end you can definitely implement your Nudges core monitoring tool in your environment Nudges XI beginners can easily set up because it's just a few clicks on the Nudges XI web interface you just click 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 and uh, finish then your service will be or the server will be in monitoring so Nudges core does not support any APIs as of now uh, not just XI as the APS support. So in case if you want to call some APIs and uh, so grab the status and you do some um, based on that API status, you do some automation stuff, you can still do that. Follows on social networking site. Uh, Facebook page is uh, at Linux ARKIT. It's www.facebook.com slash Linux ARKIT. You can see this URL and you can just go ahead and uh, click on this like button uh, so that you can follow us on Facebook uh, page updates. Uh, next one, uh, the social networking site is Instagram. Instagram ID is ARKIT.co.in. You can follow us on um, Instagram as well. For the latest uh, notifications um, twitter twitter.com slash ark a ravikumar 48 so this is the twitter account you can follow us for the latest uh, uh, tweets and updates uh, for latest articles if you want to see any new articles which is published on my blog and website you can go here which is the blog is https slash slash server iphone computer.com uh, website is https slash slash arkitco.in and email address if you have any queries and questions you, you can contact me via email like uh, it, which is a ravikumar 48 at gmail.com official address is uh, a ravi at server iphone computer.com so last but not least uh, please subscribe to the uh, youtube channel which is tech ark it youtube channel